let's see the excel example we had 18 to 25 1255 guides 1200 accept rejected the offer 55 accept the offer if you see the total guides who accepted the offer these are 7100 guides who rejected the offer the 543 guides who accepted the offer now if you see this overall success rate it's 7.1% as you can see in the formula now if you see bucket wise success rate essentially b divided by a plus b as you can see in the formula you are getting 4.4% to 9.4% so what essentially does it mean it means that overall success rate is 7.1% but if you go and see in each bucket what is the success rate you can see a clear cut monotonic trend so as it appears by the common sense that there is a clear cut relationship of this variable with the dependent variable which is the accepting the offer and what we can say that those guys who are at, uh, on the higher side of the age have a higher propensity to accept this particular program now let's calculate info value so what is p here percentage of success in the bucket essentially here we are talking of 1200 divided by 1700 which is total of all the guys who rejected the program so it's same way percentage of guys who accepted the offer percentage of guys who rejected the offer then we have you have we have weight of evidence which is log natural c by d then we are calculating percentage difference c minus d and then we are calculating info value which is nothing but multiplication of these two terms what we need to remember that if you are taking log natural of c by d the percent difference has to be calculated c minus d there is a particular reason behind that the reason is if c minus d is positive log natural c by d will be positive if c minus d is negative c by d will be smaller than 1 so log natural will be negative when you multiply two negative value it will become positive value so that way for each bucket the info value will be positive the moment you sum this for the whole all the uh, values of the uh, variable you get the variable's info value which is like you can see here it's when you sum up you get this so some points that you should note why we are calculating percentage here because sometimes this particular number can be so small that if you go by actual number the formula may not look uh, the value may not look differentiating at all when you calculate percentage by very nature these percentages has to sum up to 100% as you can see it's it has to sum up to 100% similarly this particular thing has to sum up to 100% even though it is just 543 guys where these are 7100 guys so now when you have converted them into percentage you are providing them a level playing field where good and bad can be compared secondly the formula will always result to positive value as discussed it gives a number you know, you are getting ultimately a number so essentially you can always compare that out of three variable or four variable or hundreds of variable which are the variable which more important because what you need to compare is just this particular value if the if the sum assumption of p minus q into log p by q is bigger for a particular value you can say with confidence that this particular variable is hopefully more significant in predicting the dependent variable than other it gives please note it gives more weighted to the bucket which had more volume because suppose if you had 1.6 and 1.01 the difference would have been 0.68 and this difference if you multiply this would have become 0.003 So essentially, if there is huge volume lying here, that particular bucket will get more weighted. Similarly, if the rate C by D, which is the difference between good and bad, if there is more difference, it will get more weight. If there is, you can see here, these two are having 6.8, but this is having 0.42 and this is having 0.512. That's why this has the weight of 0.03. This has the weight of just 0.02. It gives more weight to the bucket. to the bucket which has more volume and also to the bucket which has more difference in the bad rate in fact this in one go takes care of two things the difference in good and bad and secondly so essentially the population and secondly the rate part third thing 
gives it does not get affected by extreme value because if you see in the formula you are never using value like 18 or 50 what you are using is percentage of good and percentage of bad percentage of accept percentage of reject so essentially it will even if suppose in lieu of 50 plus if suppose you had 50 to 179 the formula will not get changed at all because it is not using the actual value of the variable please note this particular formula is applicable for numeric as well as character variable the reason is very simple what you need is just the percentage of good and percentage of bad in case of character variable the buckets are naturally available in case of uh in case of numeric variable you create the bucket as you are creating here 18 to 25 25 to 30 like that so it is applicable for numeric and character both variables and in one go you can select the variables which are more important thumb rule is that when the info value is greater than equal to 0.02 it should mean a significant variable sometime people multiply it by 100 if you are multiplying it by 100 then you should understand that if it is greater than 2 then it is important that's it thanks for your time